What's going on, everybody? Sorry about the delay there. <laughs> so, uh, hey, yeah, Detroit Lions. They closed one out this week, 27-26. Uh, late two-point conversion by Indy did not go through. So, hey, the Lions have their first preseason win since 2019. Dan Campbell's first preseason win, but uh, none of that matters. We're here to talk about what the players did and all that good stuff. You know, the rushing, the run defense was what really stood out today, right? Austin Bryant, John Kaminsky, Demetrius Taylor, Eric Banks before his injury. Really, 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 really strong stuff. More on Bryant in a second because it's just like I'm shocked he played the amount of snaps he did just because he looked dominant at times. He looked dominant at joint practices. He's looked very, very strong in training camp and just arrow all the way up on Austin Bryant. The hype is real on him. He has made – you know, I know he was going against second and third team guys today, but I mean, the, the growth he has shown against the run is really showing up. Sorry, my hair is bothering me there. <laughs> but uh, just really strong stuff, strong pressure on the outside, strong holding his own against the run. Sorry, people are like screaming back here. I thought this was a press box, but uh, yeah, just very strong stuff from Austin Bryant. John Kaminsky got credited with a sack, had one quarterback hit, two tackles for a loss, and six tackles. That's another guy that's having a really, really good couple of weeks here, too. You know, uh, we don't talk about him a lot, but he's got some underrated speed there from the inside, and he's just got the way he runs, he just runs hard. It's a high motor guy, and it's working out with this new attacking defense. You know, guys that can play like that are starting to pop a little bit. So I thought it was a really, really good day and a good week, for that matter, for the defensive line. Austin Bryant, John Kaminsky leading that charge. Demetrius Taylor continues to look pretty strong. That's a roster bubble guy, no doubt. Undrafted dude out of Appalachian State, excuse me. But, um, uh, you know, it was a tough day for rookie safety Kirby Joseph. It was another, man, you feel for Cedric Boswell back to back week to giving up a tough, tough, tough fourth quarter touchdown. Got called for the holding today. That's that's a tough look for that kid. That's a tough look for that kid, but really tough back to back weeks for him. Jeff Okun and Malcolm Rodriguez, uh, they started today. They got some snaps today. They were, this was not a day to watch the starters. There were not too many starters out there on either side of the ball, but, uh, you know, one of the, you know, Derek Barnes is a starter, but he got a lot of run today, too. Derek Barnes showed up on the special teams kickoff return or a kickoff. Nice tackle to get down there. I thought he looked pretty good on defense, too. Made some good reads, made some good plays. It was, you know, I know the Colts put up 26 points, but I felt like it was a pretty solid day for the defense. I'm trying to find that. It was a really good stat here. The Colts, I believe, had like 30 rushing yards. Preseason mode here too. Sorry guys. Yeah, the Colts ran 18 times for 30 yards, 1.7 average with a long run of five yards. The Colts did not have a run go longer than five yards. That's that's nice because a lot of concerns about this Lions defense coming into the season was the run defense. So that's a step in the right direction. Obviously, second and third teams. I'm going to stop saying that. If you don't know that, you know it now. But uh, so I thought that was strong on the offense side of the ball. The Lions rushing attack: 33 carries, 174 yards, one touchdown. You know the one whoopsie. Justin Jackson and David Blau kind of whiffed on a handoff there, but Jackson recovered it bounced back and had a couple of strong runs. Uh, Justin Jackson, just talked to him a minute ago here down in the locker room. He's really finding his own. That's a guy that's been good in the league before. That was a guy that was really, really good at college. If he can stay healthy, that's a guy to watch for sure. I know Craig Reynolds run hard. Craig Reynolds probably deserves a spot on this roster again, just the way he runs. But Justin Jackson is like one of those guys. That's, Jesus, that's that's a that's a proven commodity Like to be a backup running back back there if he can keep it going in the right direction for sure. But Jackson, seven for 54 yards. Craig Reynolds, seven for 37 yards. Godwin Buke had the touchdown at the goal line. All four of the backup running backs had seven carries today. Jackson, 54 yards. Reynolds, 37. Iquibuke, 32. And Jefferson, 25. And, you know, David Blau. David Blau got the start, played the entire first half. Had some really good uh, – he just has a good pocket presence. He took off when he needed to take off and kind of danced around. You know, he didn't – it wasn't the best passing day by him for any means. 16 to 22 for a – paltry 76 yards and the one interception that was just trying to, I asked him after the game what happened on the interception. He was just trying to force it in there on a third down. The ball got tipped in the air and the Colts linebacker made a good play. Yeah, I mean, it was just a good defensive play on that one. You know, Blau took a risk and paid for it. He knew it. 
Uh, Tim Boyle took some steps in the right directions. 12 of 15, 99 yards, and another dimer of a touchdown <laughs> to Tom Kennedy. And uh, that, that's what we're going to end on. Tom freaking Kennedy, guys. Five catches on seven targets, 24 yards, and two touchdowns. And one of those touchdowns is just a beautiful fade route. I mean, dependable, reliable. They're using phrase, they've got to use a different phrase every week for this guy. It's just he's got the trust trust of these backup quarterbacks. And I mean, I, I, I know it can be a backhanded compliment, but Tom Kennedy is Mr. August. He continues to pop in these months. He continues to make it hard to keep him off the roster. I mean, seriously, I, I saw him walk out of the locker room with the game ball today. There's a reason for that. You know, five catches, 24 yards, two touchdowns. That, that catch in the corner of the end zone was at the end of the first half at the horn was pretty impressive stuff for him. So really another strong preseason for Tom Kennedy. Um, Maurice Alexander, sorry, I lied. We got one more thing to talk about. Kick return, punt return stuff is up in the air. Maurice Alexander had four kick returns today for 152 yards. That's an average of 38 and a long of 61. I mean, it just was not one big return either. I mean, that's this was an all-USFL kick returner. I know that's the USFL, but he was an all-USFL kick returner, and it showed up today. I mean, he made some good reads. He had a chance to break that one, but a wide receiver caught him at the end there. I mean, he had a 26-yard return. The 61 yard return. I think he had, uh, there was a 40 plus one too. So, I mean, geez, Pete, if you have a guy that can consistently potentially break one like that, I think he even caught two passes today too. So, arrow up on Maurice Alexander, talked to him after the game and just kind of, you know, he, he was a mid camp addition, asked him how he's, how he was able to come in and kind of do this on such short notice. And he said, kind of credited the USFL for keeping the rust off. You know, he, he was ready to roll. He was ready to roll when he got here. And I mean, he showed up. I mean, It'll be really interesting to see what they do at kick returner. You know, we didn't see Godwin back there today. It's all Alexander and Benson back there. And I don't know if Benson got an attempt. I think his lone attempt was a touchback. So, hey, arrow up Maurice Alexander for sure. And, um, yeah, we'll have, uh, we'll have more on MLive.com slash Lions. We've got the observations and the live updates recap up already. Uh, we'll have stock reports, snap counts, all that good stuff in the coming hours as we try to get out of here from our home away from home in Indianapolis, it's starting to feel like. But uh, thanks, you guys, for tuning in. Sorry it was a little late today. Had to get down to that visiting team locker room. But uh, Ben Raven signing off. Lions win 27-26 for their first preseason win since 2019. It's the first preseason win for Dan Campbell. And, uh, hey, it's the preseason. Nobody cares about your record in the preseason, but this is a super young roster, and Campbell said it best. These guys got to learn how to win. You know? <laughs> they almost gave one up again at the end, but that defense on the two-point conversion was strong. The pressure was strong, and the coverage held tight. They did exactly what they needed to do in the moment. Second team, third team, fourth team, fourth team doesn't matter. They did find a win. Find a way to win today. So uh, signing off, don't forget to subscribe to the Dungeon of Doom podcast wherever you get your podcasts. We'll have Hard Knocks recaps for the rest of the month, and then we'll kind of get back into season mode once that rolls around. But thanks, you guys. It's Ben Raven. You can follow me on Twitter at Benjamin S. Raven. Kyle Mikey, you know where to find him. If you know where to find me, you know where to find him. So I'll get out of here.